Okay. Welcome. In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to connect a remote digital display to your oxygen monitor. Uh, only tools you'll need will be a number two Phillips head screwdriver, eighth inch flat tip screwdriver, and whatever length of hookup cable that you're going to be using. Uh, first thing you want to do is ensure that you do not have power applied. Uh, you don't want to short something out, blow a fuse. So we're going to go ahead and remove our protective enclosure cover so that we can access our electronics. Now you have two silver captive screws. Okay. I'm going to loosen your cord grip on the bottom. I'm going to kind of pull it out. Don't pull too far. You have to disconnect your horn. This is your connector on the left, your O2 cell. And now that should give you plenty of room to pull your electronics out and work. Then we're gonna take our hookup cable and run it through the cord grip, just to give you an idea of how that's gonna look. You do want to use a three conductor shielded cable. Uh, your diagram here on your electronics, you have two positives, a milliamp out, and two commons. Uh, this is your terminal lug here that you're going to be connecting it to. So your top two will be your positive. So I'm going to go ahead and use my white wire as my 24 volt out and connect that up. Then I'm going to use my red as my milliamp signal. That one goes in the middle terminal lug. You can go ahead and tighten them down pretty tight. And then your last, you're going to connect your shield and your ground, both in the same terminal lug. When you're done, go ahead and give each of them a little tug, make sure they're in there nice and tight. All right, so now we've terminated our cable to our electronics, so we can go ahead and Pull those back. I'm going to connect up our O2 cell, making sure you, you get all five pins and all five jacks. Uh, same thing here with your horn. Once those are connected up, just kind of as you're seating your electronics, kind of pull on your cables a little, tighten your captive screws back down. And now we are ready to move on to the digital display. So you're gonna open your two little enclosure covers. You're gonna unscrew your four captive screws. And now you can open it. As you can see they're connected with these two little white tabs. You can pop those loose. You want to ensure you run your cable through your cord grip. Once you do that, you can kind of slide that out of the way to give yourself room. So now I'm going to connect, connect it up to this eight lug terminal here. Your uh, force First four lugs are going to be your input signals and power. Uh, the other four would be used if you were connecting another remote display to this display or you were going out to a PLC or something like that. In this case, this is our, our only display, so you want to ensure that you keep your jumper installed or the monitor will not sync. So, go ahead and connect up our ground 
first. As I do each one, just give it a little tug, make sure they're nice and tight. Milliamp signal is next. Then we'll use our 24 volt. Last will be the shield. Uh, the shield will actually be used as the ground for our milliamp loop. All right, so those are nice and tight. You don't want to put it back together just yet because you are gonna have to access a few of these little push buttons whenever we do the span and zero adjustment to sync our remote display to our monitor. So we'll go ahead and leave it sitting just like that and we'll apply power. So you'll notice while the monitor is going through its warm-up phase that your remote display is going to say fault. Uh, don't worry about that, that's totally Find what it is. Basically, you don't have a four milliamp signal going to your monitor, and so the the remote display thinks that it's in fault. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and wait our two hundred and thirty five seconds, and uh, and we'll sync our remote display. So now that our our monitor is timed out, you can see that our monitor is reading twenty point five, and our remote display is reading twenty point four maybe toggling down to 20.3. So at this point, we need to go ahead and adjust our span and our zero to our monitor so we can get them synced up. So the first thing we have to do is enter our password on our monitor. So you go to the right once with a joystick, it'll say enter password. Right again, you'll have a flashing A. You're gonna go ahead and hold up on the joystick until you get to the number five. You're gonna move to the right Go to number five again. All right, one more time, and then up to seven. So this is your password. You want to have a flashing seven. At this point, you'll push the joystick straight in. You get passcode OK. You move to the right one time, and now you're in your menu system. You move, and you're in the proper menu right now, set for 20 milliamp loop. So you move to the right once. Now you're in your four milliamp zero, and you move to the right again, and you just see a number. Um, don't really have to worry about what that number is. Uh, all you need to know right now is that your monitor is outputting a four milliamp signal, which equals zero. So on the back of your remote display, you have all these different push buttons, but the ones we're gonna be working with right now are the span and the zero. So you're gonna hold the zero button for three seconds. And while you're doing it, you'll notice your remote display flashes eights and then goes to zero. All right, so we've set our zero. Now we go to the left once, we exit out of there, we go down, and now we're in our set 20 milliamp span menu. You go to the right, and at this point, we're outputting a 20 milliamp signal which should be 25 on your remote display. And as you can see, it's 24.9. So we'll do the same thing we did with the zero, only we're gonna do it with the span this time. So you push and hold your span, eight, then you get 25. All right, so at that point, we've now set our span. So if you go out, you can see, We've set them, but they're still a little bit off. So this is where we have to do our fine tuning adjustment. So what you're gonna do is go back into your 20 milliamp and you're just going to adjust that number up. Let's go up by 10. So rather than 40, now we're at 50. All right, you exit out of there so that your 
Now giving your oxygen reading is 20.6 on your monitor and 20.6 on your remote display. So at this point, you have now synchronized your monitor and your display. Everything is set and all you have to do is button everything back up. Pop your little tabs into place. Right. Tighten these down. You want to make sure you tighten all of your cord grips so that nobody walks by and pulls your, your wires out of your terminals. Close it up. And there you go. We've now connected our remote display and our monitor.